A haunting melody fills the space beneath this solitary bridge. Music, the young Jubal Alexander left behind. My son, he was, uh, he enjoyed life and uh, loved to play the guitar, he loved music. Police found Jubal's guitar inside his truck April 27th, along with most of Jubal's body. His head is still missing. It's hard knowing that whoever did this has my son's head. It's hard not being able to bury my son fully. It, it's hard. It's just very hard. It's very difficult for me and the mother and the siblings. As family and friends light candles in Jubal's honor, they're asking who murdered him and why. His older brother, also named Jubal, regrets not staying in touch. I wish he could see my daughter and my, my son, his nephew and niece, and see him again, tell how much I love him and how much I wish I could be with him again. And Jubal Sr. tells me his son worked long hours at a chemical plant and slept in his truck underneath this bridge to save money. Didn't hang around in gangs. He didn't do drugs. Everything that we teach our children to do, work hard, and, 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 and you can have anything you want in life. Just go work for it. He says that's what Jubal was doing when someone took his life. The Brazoria County Sheriff's Office is investigating, searching for answers in this mystery. In Brazoria County, Caitlin McCulley, 13 Eyewitness News.